Right. This neck down is a custom. It necks here, here, here. Best part of exhaust is yeah. starting it. There's not even a noticeable Woo. scratch. Woo. All right, today we got a little something different. We're not working on rock crawlers or any off-road vehicle. We're working on a car. It's gonna be a 1972 Monte Carlo. That's the name of the car. So we'll crack the door and let you see it. We're gonna put exhaust on this thing. This car is pretty special because it's a one owner car. It's a big block car, which they didn't make a ton of. It's just cool. Check this old jewel out. The exhaust is rotten on it. So it's, it's got headers on it already. So we're gonna put headers back on it and then we're gonna put dual two and a halves clear out the back. So should go pretty quick, we'll see. I wonder what he did with the keys. Oh yeah, that would help. Probably gonna need those. We got the keys. We'll pull this old girl in and get it on the lift and see how bad it really is. The buzzer works. That sounds pretty good. Brakes are a little uh, spongy-ish. Needs some love, but. Did you warn him possession is nine pounds? I know, water. right? I told him I had one of these cars. He was gonna stop and look at it. I'm gonna pop that hood again though, so we can see. AC. So, look in here at these headers. See how close this is? We're gonna have to do some, some uh, swinging of a hammer. There's a little tightness right there. Go check the other side out. So, yeah. we got some work ahead of us. So this fender been replaced. Yeah, they hit a deer. Hit a deer. It's a story. Rusted out. Big block headers. Oh yeah, right that's there. His, that's his patch job. He, JB welded them up. Hey, you do what so. you can. Oh, so, ah. from the muffler, it's what? Inch and three quarter exhaust out? <laughs> Holy cow. Look at that. She doesn't breathe. This is the, this right here is the part that's hard on this car coming around this and yeah we're gonna earn it right there got the old air shocks get her up so I do burnouts I guess we start gutting yeah, exhaust kind of I've, I've actually never seen one of these before I thought these were aftermarket headers but they are actually all original so this pipe right here is flat on top from the factory pretty crazy and that looks like it's been Brazed though. Did they put headers on cars from the factory? They might have. I don't know. Somebody will have to let us know. Yeah, tell us in the comments if if you could buy a 402 car with headers on it, because I don't know. And here's one. <laughs> I mean, it looks I pretty. Technically wasn't alive when this car was made. No. So I have no idea, but this one appears to be original equipment. All right, so this is why we keep old parts kicking around. New old parts, but the ones that he got are that size. The ones we need are that size. So we can move forward now. We've got gaskets, bolts, we're good. That's why we keep junk. Your wife says you shouldn't keep all this stuff. I know, right? She doesn't know. <laughs> Nothing left to do but get the saws all out and put some air plugs in and lose an exhaust. All right, I feel a little bad about this, but here we go. You almost hit me in my face hole. Okay. This neck down is a custom. It necks here, 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 and here. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Custom flat. That's pretty to, cool. Yeah, to check, nothing. Check the neck and out. I mean, that's. Restriction much? <laughs> wow. That's. That's some small pipe. Yep. Hey back. Hey back. <laughs> Remember I hate you. I, oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, the comments told us that me and Ben are fighting with each other currently. So. Now we're cool. I mean, without the comments, I would have never known that we were fighting. I know, with I each forgot other, about so. Wow. How's thick? All right, now for the hard pieces. I guess we need a half inch. We should be able to take the hangers off and pull her down. Oh, this has got a giant chrome tip on it. I didn't even notice. Look at that. 
That's chromaninium. Hunter. I already know the answer to this, but should we let down start it with headers? I think we should. I think yes. we should too. <laughs> a must. I think so. Here's there's a little fire coming out of the stove over there. That bend right there is gonna be a fun one. Hey, okay, got, got your pattern. Yeah. One more. <coughs> Pull the snake out. See, that one was done in one. Oh, yep. Yeah. We'll let it down for the mandatory no muffler startup. You gotta hear what a big block sounds like with headers. Sounds like a derby door. I like it. I'd drive it. What's up? We just got a package from uh, Greasy Garage. He wants us to try his stuff out, so I'm gonna let you guys. We he hardly ever his... get greasy. Yeah, there's wipes, <laughs> there's like balm, there's soap. You what guys do we try have it. To, to give this special occasion to that you're in the shop? Um, I'm going to St. George and you need to fill up my car for me. I brought it down. I mean, it's just like you just put the nozzle in and squeeze it. Yeah, but you're a gentleman. Hunter needs to learn from this. <laughs> what? You need to always gas your girlfriend or wife's car up for it because it's nice. Oh yeah? And it cost you money and nothing. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's so, how it works. Header is off on this side. I don't know how to get it out, but it's off. I hope I don't have to pull the steering off to get it out or jack the motor up. One of the two probably is gonna have to happen, but I'm just waiting on him now. Got two left. Have to unbolt some steering box. It may be easier to unbolt two bolts out of the motor and jack it up. I'll bet if it went up two inches, it'd clear. We could pull that thing right out of there. Okay. Down, undo, and undo. I I think. Yeah. Unless you can get motor mounts right there. It looks to me like if the motor went up two inches, you could just slide that header right out of there and not have to take the steering off. I think we pull the motor mounts and see what happens. Is that the original valve covers on it? Oh yeah. That's gonna come out. That's how you get that one out. That was easy. Hey, that's okay. Really? Really. Getting pretty close. It's gonna fit. Right on. That gives me hope for that other side. We just have to get this one out. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta get it out of there. <laughs> Right there. It okay. clears. Well, hey. By George. So we'll just clean up our surface. Clean the gaskets and put it in. Hey, I'll take it. This is good. This is a good day. Header's going in. Okay, the, it's got to go up. She's close on that. We may need to give it some love. I'll bet she'll clear. It feels like it's in there. We're going to be able to get a gasket in there? Yeah. All right. I believe mm -hmm. so. Okay. okay. Put that motor mount bolt back in it. And... This side just fits. I like it. Hooker did a good job on these headers. One little modification and they fit just fine. Plus they're tucked up higher than the old ones were. This side actually looks like it'll just fit. Yeah, and they tucked it clear up in too. Well that side saved us a little work, but we gotta jack it back up, bend that side some more. This side clears.
Somewhere in that yeah, ballpark right is close. That's missing everything. You gonna be able to come off of that and go up over? I think so. Yeah. Gonna miss drive line. Yeah, I think so. That back end's gonna be super tight. You can go up just barely. Keep going, keep going. Right there. Clearing all the goodies around. Yeah. All right. Two and a half inch 50 series. It's gonna sound good. Hold on to that. Yep. Let's get this tacked in place at least. So we just need to get this one stubbed up around there. So basically, center of bend needs to be at nine inches. Okay, nine inches. Here we go. That's gonna be close-ish, maybe. Pretty close. That's the hard part, as you see all the different angles that it takes mm -hmm. in that. Getting those all right is gonna be. So I already know I can't bend this one and this one that close together. It's gonna have to get cut right there and clock. So that'll make our life a little easier. I think that's gonna be like almost exactly 14. Yes, if it's not, we ruined a piece of pipe. figured it out. We'll see. It looks good until you put it in here, right? Needs to go just slightly more band right there. I'm gonna have to roll it and bend it just a little more. I'm gonna have to shorten this. I need it to set somewhere like that. Probably gonna have to clip and move it together. That's the spot, isn't it? Yeah. It just needs to go a bunch more. All right, so we were building exhaust and my brother-in-law called. He runs tour company. He is currently stuck in the snow, so we're gonna go rescue him, I guess, and see if we can get him out of there. All right, so we took Hunter's truck last time. And I guess I get into this death trap and oh, we see if we can it. make it. <laughs> and it was successful, we got him out. But it doesn't have a winch on it and the pictures I got looks like we might need a winch this time. So we're in the wood truck because the Toyota still broke down. have arrived this is where they say they're stuck at so my brother-in-law is gonna owe me lunch for this one I believe so You don't quite ride like your truck. No, not quite, but there he is. You coming with us? The walk of shame <laughs> right there. Up in. Oh man. <laughs> I tried pulling that one side by side and it um, started sliding closer to a tree and I'm like, I'm gonna scratch right up here. Sorry. Yeah, it definitely is like up against a couple branches and I was nervous I was gonna scratch the crap out of it. So <laughs> decided to call you. That was good. Crazy. I slid a tiny bit off and then I tried, then it just kept going. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was rough. And or luckily one of my new business partners was there. So I walked from the truck back down to where I was at and brought us, we brought a side by side up. 
and he, we tried pulling forward and whoop, <laughs> forward and backward, and this made it worse. We may have to try to <laughs> Let's go assess this. Oh, you're right into the stick. I know, that's when I stop. Well, we can pull you right out of there. Okay. I don't know if this actually works or... Woohoo, it does! <laughs> you enjoy being the cameraman, do. don't you? I love Watching it. Watching me just work. You got it. All right, so what I'm gonna want you to do is get in, roll your window down, turn your wheels the opposite direction. Okay. Oh, this is scary, Hunter. <laughs> Are you nervous? I don't want to. It might get my first scratch on it. <laughs> Can I turn your wheels a little farther? <laughs> nervous, Nelly. I trust Paul. Yeah. I got to put it neutral. Tell me when that front is clear off those limbs. Okay. They're not touching anymore. All right. Then we'll just hold on to the back and pull it around. You should be away from there's not even a noticeable Woo. scratch. Woo. <laughs> there might be a little one, but there's that's nothing right. big. That's better than what could have been. Yeah, that's pulling a, that was pulling a lot better than that Can-Am was that I was oh, trying I bet. first. <laughs> Put it in reverse and turn all the way to the right. Yep, keep turning. That's as far as it is. Reverse. Yep. Okay, don't spin too much. Just let it come a little. Now, turn back the other way. Alright. Turn the other way. Back up. Alright. Nice and easy. Don't spin. You're just spinning. You're just spinning. What the no. heck? I'm barely touching it. Don't spin. Got it. Oh man, thank you, thank you. All right, you're race ready, man. Thank you. You owe me lunch sometime. I do, I definitely owe you lunch. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this place is pretty sweet. So they do these cold plunges there. This is cool. <laughs> Strip down, Paul. I ain't going in there. <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever introduced myself. I'm Michelle's brother, Joe. So I founded Easy E, E Sign Experiences, but we just barely merged with Rome. And Rome Outdoor Adventure Company has this Cave Lakes Canyon Ranch where I just got stuck and Paul pulled me out of. <laughs> but they have 112 different springs like this on the property. And we do um, a lot of horse rides up this canyon in the summer months and lots of people can come up if they wanna get away from everybody. Once you get closer to the wall, it's about 10 to 12 feet. No kidding. Yep. Hunter, get in. <laughs> no. Maybe in the summer, but. I did it once. Yeah. That's enough for me. Yep. All right, Joe's out. We're just gonna load up, see if we can get out of here now. Give it to her. <laughs> Wanted it to slide. Yeah. Make it so we didn't do a 40 point turn. Just there we to go. Just yep. to All right, that one was pretty simple. We'll go back and build some exhaust. Hopefully Ben's got part of it. I hope done, Ben's right? got it done. Or actually, we get there a bunch of pipe. We get there and he's starting it. Like, how does it sound? Yeah, That'd be right? awesome. That'd yeah, be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see. Ben, see where he's at. You're done, right? Almost. I'm gonna break the welder out. Oh yeah. How many pieces did you ruin? Only one. That's good. good. That ain't deal. bad, right? Good deal. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't get all bend in one. Yeah, right there. Oh, good But deal. we can use it for something else. Yeah. Oh yeah. These cars are fun trying to make everything fit. Yeah. That's pretty much the spot that it needs to be though, right there. All right, so I got a bunch of lines I put on this. I'll line all those up and we'll tack it. Then we'll put it back up in and make sure it's where it needs to be. And then we'll weld it. Let's see if she fits. This is what I was most worried about. 
Oh, and it goes in. <laughs> That in? Yep. Yep. Now we're dang close to where where it needs to be. So, all right. Bend the other one, and then we'll weld them when they're done. I like that. Pretty. Okay. I'm gonna weld this one in. Right there is the ticket. I'm gonna weld that in. Weld that in. It's done on this side. How is it? Side to side. Look right down right here. Where? How is it right there? As far as gap wise. There's a little bit more on your side than this one. Yep. So you could probably go in just a little on that slip. That's not bad. Cool. Almost perfect. It's pretty dang close. <laughs> It's gonna look really good from your house. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull that out and weld it up. I'm getting this one. I don't even care if one comes out the side, one comes out the back. I just want to hear it. <laughs> right? I know. That's the worst part. Waiting for it. <laughs> waiting for forever. Sound. It's exactly where I want. Do you want them? Tipped or flat? I would rather have them flat. Okay, we'll if roll possible. this one. We'll roll this one up and weld it. All right, I think we got our whip. We got a spark plug to put in it still, and then we get to see fire it, I guess, and see what it sounds like. Kind of exciting. Best part of exhaust is yeah. starting it. Oh yeah. Here it run the first time. Okay, we've done everything we can think of. We're just gonna start it. Truck. Sounds good. It sounds like the tow truck. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds really good. Let's lift it up make sure we ain't got any exhaust leaks. Hey, where's quality control? <laughs> Someone didn't even weld that one in. It's not leaking too bad then. It's not leaking at all. That's the one that we had to beat out with a hammer. It's not leaking, but it's not welded. <laughs> well, I have to, I have to weld oh, it. I got a, oh, I got one right here. Feel it? Yeah, I can feel it. It's right here. Pin, I'll, I'll fix that one. That's probably way, way better right there. Can you see if I can get there from here? Had a little exhaustor leak right there. I just packed it. No, oh, because it just packed on it. Yeah, I didn't well, I didn't full weld these yeah, on. You don't want to. No, they're because they rust off before the exhaust does. Sounds good. I'm pretty happy with that. Test drive, I think, is all we got. Lift the door up. We'll go for a ride. All right, I'm gonna go for a ride and we'll see how this works. Driving. You got it. If someone crashes this, it ought to be you. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's that rattling noise? That might be the car. We'll see, we'll know if it clunks. And that's the test. We know it doesn't leak. Now if it doesn't clunk when we hit bumps, it was a win. You make a lap around Glendale and if it doesn't clunk down back street. Yeah, there's, yes, you don't. there's no street. I love old cars. <laughs> that sounds like I gotta bend that rear rear tip down just or it's the, the hanger. Bit. It's hitting the bumper. Oh. I just need a little more space in between that and that, so yep. such just a smooth feel, isn't Oh it? yeah, these cars are so awesome. Just nice cruiser. They just float, they ride really good. It's 88,000 miles on this car which is crazy. They're still out there. Not very many of them, but they're out there. Kip 
down works on it, everything. That's crazy. No, that sounds, that's exactly how I wanted it to sound. Yep, it's just that tailpipe rattling on the bumper. We'll fix that. Got a little bit of a rattle to fix and then she's good. That does it. We got that handled, so got a recovery done, exhaust system done. Got a free lunch, I didn't tell you. Joe owes us a free lunch out of this, so that's right. So thanks for watching.